Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to Slammer, the home of top 5 lists where we give you interesting top 5s every day. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll never miss any uploads. In today's video, we're going to show you our top 5 crimes that took between 15 to 35 years to solve. Let's get into it. Many criminal cases are fairly straightforward. This is particularly the case in today's world where there are so many innovative technologies and methods that the authorities utilize, and that's not even to mention surveillance, and how the use of high-resolution cameras and mobile phone technologies have made it much easier to track down those who wish to step foot on the wrong side of the law. However, there are some criminal cases that appear to have eluded authorities for years, and in some rare cases that we will cover for you today, between 15 and 35 years. It's astonishing that after so many years, evidence seems to crop up by the authorities using new technologies and methods that may not have been as effective or even existed a few generations prior. Number 5. Kenneth Hansen Police in Illinois were enabled to find a hostler who murdered three young boys in a stable. When Robert Peterson, John Schusler, and Anton Schusler Jr. were hitchhiking after a day of movies and bowling in 1955, the stablemen picked them up. According to the New York Times, he took the boys to his stable where he sexually molested at least one of them, murdered them, and then discarded their bodies into a forest preserve ditch. Investigators questioned 43,740 individuals in relation to this case, but none of them were able to part with any useful information that would lead the authorities to tracking down the hostler. Then, in 1994, during an inquiry into the inexplicable disappearance of Harris Helen Voorhees Brock, numerous people appear to have linked 61-year-old Kenneth Hansen with the boy's disappearance in 1955. Hansen was subsequently charged with the murders of all three boys. The next year, he was convicted and sentenced to 200 years in jail. He passed away in 2007 while still serving his sentence. Number 4. John List Police were aware that John List, a man who lived in New Jersey, had murdered his mother, wife, and three children. The problem was they did not know where to look for him. According to reports, the perpetrator shot his entire family in 1971 and wrote a confession note for his pastor. In it, he said that his financial problems had become too much of a burden for him to bear and that he believed he was doing his victims a service by killing them. List wrote in his confession, quote, At the very least, I'm positive that everyone has gone to heaven. Who knows if that would have happened if things had gone differently? List then fled the state, changing his name to Robert P. Clark. List slash Clark managed to get a job as an accountant, remarried, and lived as a free man in Colorado for 18 years. His downfall came in 1989 on America's Most Wanted, when a former neighbor identified a forensic sculptor's bust of what List would have looked like decades later after he was last seen. List was eventually found guilty of murder and condemned to life in prison for five years. Strangely, he reportedly apologized for the tragedy that occurred in 1971. List was imprisoned until 2008, when he died of pneumonia at the age of 82. Number 3. Clarence Wayne Dixon Deanna Bowden, a 21-year-old college student from Tempe, Arizona, was found slain in her apartment on January 7, 1978. Her neck was bound with a belt, and she suffered stab wounds on her upper body. Police recovered male DNA on her undergarments, but were unable to identify the perpetrator. According to ABC News, there were no leads for the next 23 years. The case was then taken over by Detective Tom Magazzini in 2001, who discovered that the DNA from the crime scene matched Clarence Wayne Dixon, a 52-year-old former gas station employee who was already serving a life term for sexual assault. He happened to live 500 feet away from Bowden's apartment. Dixon was rearrested on murder and sexual assault accusations and ultimately convicted. It only took jury members 20 minutes to conclude that he merited the death penalty. As of 2017, however, he was still alive and serving his sentence. Diana's mother, Bobby Bowden, told the media, quote, We're incredibly relieved, and it's something that we thought would never happen. Number 2. Stephanie Lazarus Sherry Rasmussen was shot and bludgeoned to death in the condo she shared with her husband in 1986. The police concluded that two thieves had broken in and murdered her. The case remained cold as ice. In a twist of fate 27 years later, they discovered the true story. Stephanie Lazarus, a former Los Angeles police detective, was found guilty of murdering Rasmussen after her saliva DNA was linked to a bite mark on the victim's arm. 
prosecutors alleged that Lazarus was enraged that her ex-partner had married and sought vengeance. She was convicted of first-degree murder in 2012 and was condemned to life in prison for 27 years. Number 1. Osman Bell The BBC reported that a piece of chewing gum, yes, that's right, chewing gum, actually led to the prosecution of a man who murdered his wife. Nova Welsh was murdered in her house in Birmingham, England in 1981, and her discarded body was discovered in a cupboard with a piece of chewing gum holding the cupboard lock in place. For 35 years, investigators were unable to solve the case. Thanks to a leap forward in technology, investigators managed to match DNA on the chewing gum to Osmond Bell, Welsh's ex-partner. Investigators then discovered a record of domestic abuse in their relationship, and the death was presumably carried out in vengeance after Welsh began dating someone new. Bell was found guilty of manslaughter and sentenced to 12 years in prison. Nova Welsh's mother, Lorna, claimed her daughter could finally rest in peace. And with that, we end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment to let us know what you thought of the video and what top 5 we should do next. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out and have a great day.